Today, we obtained court papers from the case against Daniel Haynes that explains what happened before the deadly crash. His own daughter, six-year-old Alexia, was killed in the crash. Her two siblings, eight-year-old Asia and ten-year-old Adriana, were also hurt, along with two other adults. Police say they were not wearing seatbelts at the time. Witnesses say Haynes was speeding on West State Road near the Virgil Fire Department around 8.45 Friday night. Investigators say he ran a stop sign, smashing into a utility pole. Now at 5, our Sarah Beth Ackerman joins us live in the studio with more on what witnesses say happened in the moments leading up to the crash. Sarah Beth. From the moment we received the court papers, we've been sifting through all the details. Inside these documents, we read written statements from two adults that were in the car the night of the horrific crash. Balloons and flowers surround this pole on Westgate Road in the town of Virgil as a memorial for the six-year-old little girl, Alexia, who lost her life. That's where the operator, uh, Mr. Haynes, lost control of his vehicle and struck a utility pole. You can see the impact and the damage done to the pole happened before the crash. We know her father, 29-year-old Daniel Haynes, was allegedly driving drunk. But where was he before getting behind the wheel? To dig for answers, we obtained court papers from Cortlandville Town Court. While sifting through the documents, we found statements from two adults who were in the car the night of the crash. 23-year-old Joshua Gleason, a friend of Haynes, told investigators in a written statement before they all piled into the car, they were all drinking, planned to drop the three children at a babysitter's house, and that Haynes was speeding. He told investigators, quote, Danny was heavy on the pedal. By that I mean he was driving very fast. Devin and I told Danny to slow down. Danny was driving approximately 100 miles per hour or faster. Haynes is now charged with aggravated vehicular homicide, driving drunk, and more. But what about the other adults in the car? We're looking at that also. Um, I can't comment one way or the other whether they are or are not. However, that's all part of the, the ongoing investigation. 21-year-old Devin Luma was also in the car when it slammed into the utility pole and told investigators in a statement, quote, I looked back and saw a ton of blood and one of the girls had a messed up face. Right now, Haynes is sitting behind bars without bail. He is expected to be back in court on May 11th. The speed is incredible. We already knew what the charge is about alcohol being involved and everybody in the car, but to go that fast, that says a lot. Mm. Yeah, the two adults, their depositions kind of varied. One said 100, one said 80, but still very high. Wow, yeah. and you can read some of those court documents on our website at cmycentral.com. Sarah Beth, thank you.